guys, Mr. Brackberg here. This is part two of lesson 5.5. We're going to use product to sum formulas to rewrite and evaluate some equations, and we're also going to use sum to product formulas to rewrite and evaluate some equations. First set of formulas we're looking at are called product to sum formulas. So just like the name implies, we're going to be given some sort of multiplication happening with either sines or cosines, and we're going to rewrite that as some sort of addition problem. These formulas are on your trig sheet on the bottom right hand corner, so no need to copy them down unless you really want to. First example we've got says the cosine of 5x times the sine of 4x, and we're going to rewrite that product as either a sum or a difference. So what I see is a cosine times a sine. So if we check out our formulas, the one that says cosine of u times the sine of v says we're going to do 1 half times, we're going to do the sine of add those two angles together, and then we're going to subtract the sine of subtract those two angles, u minus v. So filling in some values, we've got a 5x for our u value and a 4x for our v value. So we're going to go 1 half times the sine of add those things together, 5x plus 4x, and then subtract the sine of, let's do a little subtraction, 5x minus 4x. We can simplify those things down a little bit on the inside of our parentheses. Sine of, well, if we're looking at this 5x plus 4x, that's just 9x. So we've got sine of 9x minus. Over here, 5x minus 4x is just a plain x. So we get the sine of x. And we're going to leave that as our final answer. In this one, we've got sine of 5 theta times cosine of 3 theta. So we're looking at the formula that goes 1 half times the sine of u plus v plus the sine of u minus v. Checking out our values, 5 theta is going to be our u value, 3 theta will be our v value, and let's plug those in. So we've got 1 half times the sine of add our two angles together, 5 theta plus 3 theta, and then add on sine of subtracting those things, 5 theta minus 3 theta. Again, just like the last one, we're going to simplify some things down. So we've got 1 half times the sine of, this becomes 8 theta, plus the sine of 2 theta. And then again, we're going to leave this as our final answer. Next set of formulas are called sum to product formulas. So again, like the name implies, we're going to be having some sort of sum happening, adding or subtracting, and we're going to rewrite that thing as a multiplication problem. Again, you have these formulas on your trig sheet on the bottom right hand corner, so you shouldn't have to copy those things down. Looking at this first example, we've got a cosine of 195 plus a cosine of 105. So if we check out our formula, cosine of u plus the cosine of v says that we're going to go with 2 times cosine of u plus v all over 2, and then we're going to multiply that by the cosine of u minus v all over 2 again. So in this case, 195 will be our u value, 105 will be our v value. So we're going to go with 2 times the cosine of 195 plus 105 all over 2, and then cosine of 195 minus 105 again all over 2. And let's look at simplifying this down a little bit. On top with this addition, taking 195 plus 105, that's 300 divided by 2, and over here, cosine, if we subtract those things, we get 90 over 2, and we can simplify that down even further. So we've got 2 cosine of 150 times the cosine of 45. Nice thing about these angles is they show up on our unit circle. So we've got 2 times the cosine of 150 is negative root 3 over 2, and the cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. We can do a little bit of canceling with this 2 and I guess one of these 2's. If we multiply out the tops, negative root 3 times root 2 gives us negative root 6. And checking out the bottoms, we've got 2 on bottom. So here's our final answer, negative root 6 over 2. In this one, we've got sine of 195 plus the sine of 105. So we're going to use the formula that says sine of u plus sine of v equals 2 times sine of u plus v over 2, and then cosine of u minus v all over 2. So filling in our values, we're going to go 2 sine of 195 plus 105 all over 2, and the cosine of 195 minus 105 all over 2. Simplifying this down, 2 
sine of, this would be 300 on top, and 300 divided by 2 is 150, times the cosine of the subtraction on top would give us 90, and if we divide 90 by 2, we get 45. And now we're back to filling in some unit circle values. 2 times sine of 150 is a half, and cosine of 45 is root 2 over 2. Just like we did on the last one, we can cancel out a couple of these 2's, and then on top we've got root 2, on bottom we've got 2. So here's our final answer. Last example, we're going to do a little bit of equation solving using one of these formulas. So we've got sine of 5x plus sine of 3x equals 0. Since we've got a sine plus another sine, we're going to use that same formula we used on the last example. So this is going to go 2 sine of 5x plus 3x all over 2 times the cosine of 5x minus 3x all over 2, and this equals 0. Simplifying it down a little bit before we start solving, we've got 2 sine of this addition on top would give us 8x, but divided by 2, that's 4x. Cosine of this would be 2x, but divided by 2, it's just a plain x, equals 0. Now we're trying to get our x's all by themselves. First thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by 2 to get those to cancel out. So now we've got sine of 4x times cosine of x equals 0. No factoring we need to do. This is already split up as multiplication. So what I'm going to do is just take each individual piece and set it equal to 0. So we've got sine of 4x equals 0 and cosine of x equals 0. Rewriting each one as an inverse. This first one says 4x equals the inverse sine of 0. And this one on the right hand side just says x equals the inverse cosine of 0. We're looking at the unit circle. Where do we have a sine value of 0? Well, that happens at the angle 0, and that also happens at the angle pi. So we've got 4x equals 0 and 4x equals pi. Over here, a cosine value of 0 happens at the angles pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Now this one's done because we've just got plain x all by itself. Over here on the left hand side we've got a little bit of extra work to do. We're just going to divide everything by 4 on both of these. So top one turns into x equals 0, bottom one turns into x equals pi over 4. We're not adding anything extra to any of these angles because we were told to keep our angles between 0 and 2 pi. So these four angles are our answers. That's going to be it for this video. Please remember to fill out the Google form linked in the description down below. And thanks for watching.